the Andromeda Galaxy and our home galaxy are going to engage in a titanic conflict. This is what Earth's future holds. When we look up at the night sky, everything may appear calm, yet appearances can be deceiving. Even though humans may not be able to feel it, the Milky Way galaxy is traveling through the cosmos at an incredible 1.3 million miles per hour. It is also directly in the direction of the Andromeda galaxy, which is its companion. These spiral galaxies are 2.5 million light years apart, but that distance won't stay constant forever. The center black hole of the Milky Way will burst open due to the coming galactic collision, which will occur sooner than expected. Why is this happening at the moment? When this inevitable collision occurs, what will happen to Earth? Come along as we investigate what lies ahead for our Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy. The two biggest galaxies in the so-called local group, which is made up of several dozen enormous and tiny galaxies that are all gravitationally coupled, are the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies. The Milky Way and Andromeda dominate the group's destiny since they are the largest and exert the most gravitational force. The Andromeda galaxy, which is traveling toward Earth at a speed of 68 miles per second, is far larger than the Milky Way. It will eventually take about 6 billion years for them to combine to form a single, gigantic, spherical galaxy. This new galaxy, known as Milky Meter or Milk Dromeda, will also be formed by the merger of the supermassive black holes that are located at the centers of the Milky Way and Andromeda. The fact that we have been aware of the Andromeda-Milky Way collision for hundreds of years makes it seem strange. Early in the 20th century, astronomer Vesto Slipher predicted that the Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxy will collide. Since then, a great deal of research has gone into simulating whether or not these galaxies will collide or just stay apart. Then, in 2012, a startling discovery was made by scientists. The Andromeda galaxy appeared to be moving at a speed of 100 kilometers per second, almost straight toward the Milky Way, according to data collected by Hubble, a spacecraft intended to track galactic motion. They calculated that in about 4 billion years, the two galaxies would collide and unleash havoc. In 2019, it was discovered that Andromeda was shifting to the side slightly more than originally thought, delaying the impending collision by about 600 million years. However, newer discoveries using even more recent data indicate that Andromeda's sideways motion may still be increasing. If so, Andromeda may miss the Milky Way entirely while approaching it in this manner. The strange thing is, that all of these measurements actually agree to some extent, even though they seem to contradict each other. The problem here is statistical uncertainty in the measurements because the amounts involved are so small and difficult to establish. So are we going to crash into each other or not? The two component directions of an object's velocity are its side velocity, also known as the transverse velocity, and its radial velocity, or how quickly it moves toward or away from you. If something is traveling toward you at a certain speed, but not at a transverse velocity, get ready for contact. However, if its transverse velocity is positive, it will be moving not just in your direction, but also in a sideways direction. If its transverse velocity is high enough, it will miss since nature has a mechanism in place to do this. It is easy to calculate Andromeda's radial velocity. Blue shifting is the phenomenon wherein an object traveling toward you experiences Doppler shift and a shortening of wavelength. It has been calculated to be roughly 100 km per h or 360,000 km per h by taking galaxy spectra, which makes the measurement very easy and accurate. That's quick, isn't it? However, what is its transverse velocity? How fast is it swerving off course? It is a significant question that is challenging to quantify. Traveling to Andromeda, which is situated 2.5 million light years away, 
is an arduous task. Think of it this way. Roughly one billion kilometers separate Saturn from Earth, and the Cassini spacecraft visited the planet in seven years. After spending seven more years on Saturn, consider coming back to Earth. Imagine doing it a billion times over now. Congratulations, you've only covered a tenth of the distance needed to reach Andromeda. Any transverse motion appears to be very small because Andromeda is so far away, making it challenging to quantify. The slight variations in the positions of stars from year to year are too small for most telescopes to measure. As previously indicated, over a period of five to seven years, astronomers used Hubble to conduct extremely exact measurements to calculate the rate at which Andromeda was moving to the side. It was traveling at a pace of 17 kilometers per second, they discovered. It looks to be moving directly toward us since that is substantially slower than the radial velocity of 100 kilometers per s. Astronomers' most recent work makes use of the most recent data from the Gaia spacecraft, which measures the brightness, positions, motions, and colors of well over a billion stars with astounding accuracy. They eventually found that Andromeda's transverse velocity is roughly 82 kilometers per second, though the method is difficult. That suggests that Andromeda will be sad to see us go. All of this indicates that Andromeda is traveling at a roughly 40 degree angle to the side, which is sufficient to completely miss the Milky Way, assuming the radial and transverse velocities are about equal. As previously mentioned, these measurements contain a significant amount of uncertainty. Using a range of statistical methodologies, astronomers can assign a statistical degree of uncertainty to their findings. That irritates me. There will undoubtedly be a collision if the lower figure is correct. Should the higher one is, there will undoubtedly be a miss, and we won't be able to tell the difference. Researchers are trying to determine how the star appears to move over time. The longer the time between measurements, the faster they travel, and the more accurate the results are. Since the original Hubble article was published more than 10 years ago, the current results would be significantly more trustworthy. Furthermore, Gaia continues to observe. Updated data from Gaia is expected to be significantly more accurate than previous data and will be provided again once all five years of the nominal mission have been processed. Thus, given a few more years, astronomers should be able to do more accurate calculations and determine with confidence whether we should brace ourselves for a cosmic crash in the distant future or simply wait for Andromeda to pass us safely at a million or two light years away. What happens if it's determined to hit us? At the moment, Andromeda is located about 2.5 million light years away. When it collides with our galaxy in less than 4 billion years, it will begin a billion-year-long cataclysmic dance that will tear our galaxy and the Milky Way apart to create a new galaxy. However, before Andromeda collides, humans will witness a breathtaking display. Two galaxies will decisively vanquish one another 250 million years after the collision. The only remnants will be the spectral framework of two distinct galaxies. But it hasn't ended yet. The battle will go for billions of years or until the supermassive black holes at the center of each galaxy come close enough to combine. Stars in the night sky will reveal the luminous nucleus of the elliptical galaxy if Earth survives after six billion years of cosmic annihilation. You may even want to set your doomsday clocks appropriately. About 10 billion years ago, the Milky Way was involved in a cataclysmic collision. During their orbits, smaller galaxies are sometimes absorbed by larger ones. It is possible that the Milky Way will end before it is expected to by a few billion years. One of our parent galaxy's nearest satellites, the spiral of stars known as the Large Magellanic Cloud, LEMC, also appears to be headed toward collision with it, around two to three billion years ahead of the long-expected collision between the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy. A group of astrophysicists from Durham University in the United Kingdom have suggested that this cosmic tragedy could occur 
as soon as two billion years from today. Even while the LMC is only around one twentieth the mass of the Milky Way, the collision would nevertheless cause irreversible changes to both galaxies, igniting black holes that had been dormant, propelling stars billions of kilometers beyond their orbits, and scattering cosmic radiation over the sky. The destruction of the Big Magellanic Cloud, due to its absorption by the Milky Way, will have a significant negative impact on our galaxy. Galactic collisions occur often in a surprisingly packed vast space, and scientists are becoming increasingly adept at modeling the possible outcomes of previous mergers. The Durham team used the supercomputer collision simulator Eagle to explore several possible consequences for the future Milky Way LMC merger. Which features of our galaxy will be altered? The merging LMC would probably produce a large rush of fresh gas and steez into the center black hole of the Milky Way, reviving the once sleeping monster. Quasars, which are among the universe's brightest objects, are produced when a supermassive black hole consumes and ejects flaming celestial matter at nearly the speed of light. The black hole might swell to around eight times its present size in such a collision. In the event that this happens, the stars that currently live in the galactic center of the Milky Way would unfortunately have to give up their comfortable environs to a new population of cosmic immigrants from the LCM. Many stars will be drawn toward the expanding black hole at the center of the galaxy, according to the researcher's prediction. All the extra material pouring into their region may cause other stars to be flung headfirst into quadrillions of kilometers away into galactic space. Fortunately, the merger will only slightly at effect a tiny number of stars that are near the sun. The scientists came to the conclusion that there isn't much danger to life on Earth in two billion years. In fact, the newest quasar in the Milky Way might potentially provide people on Earth in the future a breathtaking show of cosmic fireworks. What does the future hold for us? Even while we won't be present to view the collisions, we will be able to observe them in stunning detail because of the power of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, West, also dubbed the Just Fantastic Space Telescope. Our Sun will be a red giant when we merge with Andromeda, consuming Venus and Mercury, first before enlarging to a diameter comparable to the orbit of Earth. However, the Sun can cause us a lot of trouble long before that. The Carrington event, a powerful geomagnetic storm that wrecked telegraph wires in 1859, may be well known to you. Scientists now view it and a similar solar explosion from 1921 as warning signs that a solar blast might cause catastrophic fires and meltdowns in our electrical infrastructure and satellite networks. At the time, they were primarily thought to be curiosities. That would be awful, but it could be worse. In 2012, researchers found a solar flare from the year 775 that was 10 or 100 times more intense. Researchers looking for rare isotopes in ice cores have now found evidence of two more super flares, which happened 5,259 and 7,176 years ago, respectively. That will eventually recur, and we are not prepared for what lies ahead for all of us. Click the video on your screen to view more incredible space-related videos while you're still here.